Haggai chapters 1 and 2. Chapter 1, The Temple is Not Completed. 1. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying, To thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. 3. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, For is it time for you, yourselves, to dwell in your panelled houses, and this house lie in ruins? 5. Now therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. 6. You have sown much, and bring in little, you eat, but you have not enough, you drink, but you are not filled with drink, you clothe yourselves, but no one is warm, and he that earns wages earns wages to put it into a bag with holes. The temple must be completed. 7. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. 8. Go up to the mountain, and bring wood, and build the house, and I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified, says the Lord. 9. You looked for much, and, lo, it came too little, and when you brought it home, I did blow it away. Why? says the Lord of hosts. Because of my house that is in ruins, and you run every man unto his own house. 10. Therefore the heavens over you withholds the dew, and the earth withholds her fruit. 11. And I called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the grain, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground brings forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the hands. 12. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God, and the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord their God had sent him, and the people did fear before the Lord. 13. Then spoke Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. 14. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and did work on the house of the Lord of hosts, their God, 15 in the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of Darius the king. Chapter 2 The latter temple is not as glorious as the first. 1 In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, Do speak now to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people saying, Three who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory. And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it is nothing? The latter temple will be more glorious than the first. For yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and be strong, all your people of the land, says the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. 5. According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you, fear you not. 6. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Yet once, it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens, and the earth, and the sea, and the dry land. 7. And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. 8. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. 9. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Disobedience of the Remnant 10. In the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, 11. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Ask now the priests concerning the law, saying, 12. If one bears holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt does touch bread, or pottage, or wine, or oil, or any food, shall it be holy? And the priests answered and said, Number 13 then said Haggai, If one that is unclean because of a dead body touches any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priests answered and said, It shall be unclean. 14 then answered Haggai, and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, says the Lord, and so is every work of their hands, and that which they offer there is unclean. Obedience of the Remnant 
15 and now i pray you consider from this day onward from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of the lord 16 since those days were when one came to a heap of 20 measures there were but 10 when one came to the wine press to draw out 50 vessels out of the press there were but 20 17 i struck you with blasting and with mildew and with hail in all the labors of your hands yet you turned not to me says the lord 18 consider now from this day and onward from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month even from the day that the foundation of the lord's temple was laid consider it 19 is the seed yet in the barn yea as yet the wine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree have not brought forth but from this day will i bless you future destruction of the nations 20 and again the word of the lord came unto haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month saying 21 speak to zerubbabel governor of judah saying i will shake the heavens and the earth 22 and i will overthrow the throne of kingdoms and i will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations and i will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down every one by the sword of his brother future recognition of zerubbabel 23 in that day says the lord of hosts will i take you o zerubbabel my servant, the son of Shealtiel, says the Lord, and will make you as a signet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord of hosts.